Today's video is the second part to this back glass repair on this iPhone. I'm going to be showing you how we finish the repair. If you haven't checked out my previous video, here's kind of how it ended, where we get to the point where we're removing the back glass. I do have an upcoming video, and I and I uh, just finished a video with uh, Zach from Jerry Rig Everything, where we demonstrate that method. Uh, so check out that video when it comes out. So now that we've finished adhering and let let the uh, adhesive cure for the back glass, we're going to uh, install the the rear camera lens after cleaning up the edge and uh, the interior from any excess glue that, that seeped out from under the glass um, on both sides of the frame. I like to make sure it looks really good so I take my time in this process. And I also want to make sure that the external charging unit sits flush so I'll make sure to remove any excess adhesive and the same with the charge port assembly as well. I don't want it to be lifted in any way, putting pressure on the speaker or anything like that. I'll clear away any adhesive that'll prevent the camera from sit sitting flush against that frame. And I'm also gonna bend back any part of that metal frame that we had to break uh, to make sure that the lens fits well. Clean up the lens a little bit. We're going to use E8000. It's a clear waterproofing adhesive that's flexible to a certain extent. Cures in, in about five minutes or so. Fully cures within 24 hours. It's a great adhesive um, in general for uh, most electronics. It's also used for jewelry and uh, uh, other hobbies and things like that. You can adhere to basically any material. Now enjoy the uh, the uh, fastest uh, possible uh, reverse teardown of that I could possibly do. Now the new method that I'll be probably doing a video of as well as uh, Jerry Brig Everything's video. Um, it, it's a uh, basically doing the same repair without having to take the entire phone apart. In fact, you can leave the entire phone intact. You don't even have to take out a single screw to do it that way. So now that everything's back in, I'm gonna replace the uh, um, the adhesive that goes around the border to help uh, make this uh, phone as water resistant as possible. Now, of course, now that I've been in the phone, the chances that it's perfectly water resistant are uh, slim to, to none, it, it can never be for perfect. In fact, Apple's isn't perfect anyway, and if you uh, if you decide to trust um, that your phone is waterproof or water resistant or whatever you want to call it, um, uh, that's that's on you if it gets damaged. Unfortunately, besides with them costing as much as they do, I don't know why someone would want to go swimming with them. We'll go ahead and connect the uh, um, the connectors from the screen. The proximity sensor and your speaker and make sure everything works put in the last few screws to help hold down all the connectors on that plate And after shutting the screen, we will install the last two Penelope screwdrivers, or screws at the bottom, and test the phone uh, to make sure everything's working and looking good, and the customer's gonna be happy about that. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, feel free to hit the uh, thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, stay tuned for the Apple Watch Series 5 teardown. 
I will also be doing a glass replacement on that, so look for that video.